All right, guys. Asked on Instagram if y'all want to see a tool haul. So here we go. This is me and the apprentice that's on our team. Recent last few months of stuff. Let's start up here. Got some snap-on ball hex Allens. SAE metric. Uh, I actually got these in a trade from a follower, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. We also got some Koken trim pad tools. Um, I got some snap-on ones too. Uh, I chose to get these just because you never have too many trim tools, and I like the, the small one, especially for interior work. We also got some Koken surface drive sockets and quarter inch. So this is a nine mil. Nice little surface drive going on there. VIM uh, universal set. Uh, we got there. I think are eleven mil all the way across. Uh, this is ten mil E10 quarter inch bit adapter, and this is just your quarter inch U joint. They're all the VIM spring loaded, which is pretty dope. I like that a lot. Uh, also from VIM, I got this big 3 Ace Master set. I've been using it for quite a while now. In spring loaded Universal, spring loaded Crowfoot. And then the ratchet's nice, it's long. Wish it was flex head. My number one gripe is I wish it was flex head, but it, everything has a nice satin finish. Uh, they use Wobble, Wobble Plus. I prefer straight. That's just me. Moving on. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way. Double Box Flex 2730. Uh, a lot of people messed with me about this. They didn't know it existed. Uh, it's it's pricey. It's like $175. I use it for Tundra alignments for the eccentric cams, and I really just wanted to complete my set. Who cares? It's my money. Whatever. Then I got the Cornwell 120 tooth ratchet. It's been pretty good. I don't know how I feel about 120 tooth ratchets. I had a gear wrench that I absolutely hated, but that's because I hate gear wrench. That's something in itself. I also got a snap on locking flex quarter inch. I got that actually when my Epic cart came in, my dealer gave it to me. Uh, I got these pliers, the Icon slip joint and the Snap-on slip joint. I made a separate video on different slip joint pliers. I got these for a house project and then decided to make a little video on different pliers. Uh, obviously, it's my opinion, but these are better. These are cheaper, but these grip better. They look better. They're cold forged steel. They're just, they're just better. Uh, Capri 6.8 ratcheting wrenches these are actually discontinued so i only have a few sizes but i really enjoy these i really like the six point design i can only find them from mac and tecton and capri but capri's discontinued tecton i think is discontinued and mac is like 350 dollars for the ratcheting set but i'll probably eventually get them is what it is moving on got these snap-on lug nut sockets so they're just your standard half inch deep well impact sockets but the interior hex is deeper um snap-on has a really shallow hex so the bolts don't fall down in there or the nuts or whatever you're working on so for the lug nut sockets the theory is they're deeper so they don't damage the decorative caps don't know if that's true haven't used them long enough to find out but i bought them just to see uh our apprentice he just got this bogo from cornwell Pretty solid set. Blue, angled, and straight die grinders. Uh, what were they? Like 150 bucks? 100 bucks for both. 100 bucks for both. So, yeah, wasn't a bad deal right there. He also got a set of Mac half inch shallow sockets. And then a swivel, USA made Mac. These things are awesome. I got them in 3 A's. Uh, Mac USA stuff's pretty dope. He also got the Power Blue, I think it's called. Three piece plier set. I have this set in green. Awesome plier set. If you don't have any pliers, great starter set. Definitely worth the money on these pliers. The cutters are awesome. The slip joints are awesome. I don't really use a needle nose because I have a different pair of needle nose that I use. Uh, he also got this quarter inch service set. 
Uh, it was a little pricey, but it gets shallow, mid, deep, gets your ratchet, gets your extensions, gets a swivel or a universal. Uh, I don't remember what this cost them. I know our dealer uh, gave him a hella discount. I think he paid like $450 for the whole thing, which for a full set of quarter inch, that's a pretty good deal from Snap-on. Uh, I picked up this Cornwell two-piece pick set. It was in the flyer for, uh, I think, like 28 bucks. Can't go wrong. This one worked really well on this GMC I'm working on to pull the rear seat. You got to hook in there and get the latches for the seat. Dumb design, but whatever. Also got a set of Capri contour handle screwdrivers. I have a set of these as well. Got a set of these for uh, the Apprentice, and he really likes them. He's a big fan of blue, and he's been using the hell out of them. They've held up really well, and I don't know if they advertise it, but the tips seem to be magnetic, which is pretty dope. And he also picked up this, this bad boy, half-inch locking, I think 24-inch flex head ratchet. I don't have the locking version. I just have the regular, but this is my go-to half-inch ratchet for oil filters because loop shops don't know how to not over-tighten them. And this thing is a beast. I mean... I've never broken mine in eight years. I see people say all the time that they do, but I don't know what the hell they're breaking loose. Granted, we don't work on anything bigger than an F-250 around these parts, but this is a great ratchet. It's kind of expensive, but it's snap-on quality. Lifetime warranty, USA made. I mean, what more do you want? And then I think that's, that's pretty much it for the haul, for most recent haul. I mean, there's more stuff, but this video does well we'll continue making these maybe weekly bi-weekly just to see how it goes we can also do some tool talk just shoot the shit and whatnot like this for example this one's a matco rebrand but it's the lyle uh, stretch belt installer absolute trash don't waste your money never had that thing work on me i mean i i hate it absolutely hate it so if you want to see more content like this you know like subscribe comment below do you want to see tool haul tool talk Tools I hate. I mean, whatever you want to see, just leave it in the comments and let me know.